Hello friends. Here is the home automation project to control the home appliances using remote. But if your remote control gets damaged or lost, then you can easily switch to a new one without having to make any change in the existing code. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn how to make this home automation project. To give this project a professional touch, I have also designed a custom PCB, and I am really grateful to my sponsor, PCBWay, for providing me with the high-quality PCB for my project for free. If you're not familiar with PCBWay, they are professional PCB manufacturer that offers a wide range of services, including PCB prototyping, advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs, and much more. To order. Simply enter the dimensions of your PCB on their website and click Quote Now. You can choose the quantity and even select different colors for your PCB. You can get 5 to 10 pieces of 2 layer high quality PCBs for as low as $5. You can download the GABA file for this project from the description of this video. Once you're satisfied with your order, just place it and you'll receive your PCBs within 3 to 5 days, depending on your location and shipping preferences. This way, you can easily get a professional looking PCB for your projects. So, don't hesitate to order your custom PCB on PCBWay, and take your project to the next level. Now, let's talk about the working of the project. This project works on two modes. The first one is normal mode. In normal mode, you can control your appliances manually without the internet, using IR remote, and switch buttons. Additionally, this project supports Blink IoT platform, so you can control your home appliances from anywhere in the world, while connected to the internet. Next, this blue LED is the status LED. If it is on, it means you are connected to the internet. And when it is off it means you are disconnected to the internet. But you can still control the relays using your remote control, or you can use switch buttons. I have also added the temperature and humidity sensor in the project, to monitor the real-time temperature of the room using Blink app. Next, the second one is config mode, which allows you to register a new remote control, with your project. Now let's understand how to register a new remote control with the project. First, you need to enter in the config mode. So, you just press and hold the boot button for more than 2 seconds, and then release the button. The blue LED will start blinking very fast, which indicates the project is now in config mode, and ready to register the remote control. Now press the first button on your remote, that you want to register with the project. And then look at the blue LED, which is turned off now. It means the first key has been registered. After 2 seconds, the LED will start blinking very fast again, which means you can now register the second key of your remote control. So, repeat this process until you have registered all 6 keys of your remote control. This way you can change your remote control as many times as you want but you can only register up to 6 keys with the project. But if you want to register more keys, then you can easily do it by making a little change in the code. I will discuss it in more detail, in the coding section later on. Once all the keys are registered, then the project will automatically enter into normal mode, and now you can use your new remote control to operate your relays. Next. To build this project on a breadboard, you will need the following main components. You just simply follow this wiring diagram to connect all the components. Here I have connected the AC bulbs to the relays, which involves high voltages. So take proper precautions, and ensure your safety before working with high voltages. If you need more professional looking version of this project, you may consider using my custom designed PCB. Here are the components that are required for the PCB. After soldering all the components, you will have a polished looking project like this. Here I have added the female headers, 
to make it easier to connect and disconnect the main components. However, if you prefer a more permanent connection, then you can directly solder the components on the PCB. Next, I will set up the Blink Cloud. So from your Blink account, click on Create New Template button. Next, give your template a name, you can give it any name you want. Then select the hardware as ESP32 and set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on Done button and the template will be created. After that, navigate to the Data Stream tab. Here I will create one data stream. Although this data stream won't be used in the project, but it is required for the configuration of the Blink app. Now click on Save button to save the template. Now the template is ready. Next step is to create mobile dashboard. So, just open the Blink app from your phone. Here, tap on the developer's mode option. Now select the template that we have created earlier. Here I will create the mobile dashboard. So first click on plus icon. And then, select the button widget. Now, tap on the button to open its properties. Next, create a data stream by selecting choose data stream option. And then tap on create new. Here, set the virtual pin to v1, data type to integer, and the maximum value to 1. And then tap on done button. Finally, set the mode from push to switch. Now our first button is ready, it will be used to control the first relay. The same way I will add three more buttons to the dashboard to control the remaining three relays. Next, I will set the properties of newly created buttons. You can use the same process as we have done for the first button. You only need to change the virtual pins. For button 2, the virtual pin will be V2. For button 3, the virtual pin will be V3. And the other options will remain same. And for the last button, you will have to set the virtual pin to V4. Next, I will add two gauge widgets to display the temperature and humidity data. Now, tap on first gauge widget to access its properties. On the next screen, assign the virtual pin to V5, set the data type to integer, set the maximum value to 100, and set the units to Celsius. After that, tap on Done button. Now our first widget is ready to display the temperature data. The same way I will set the properties of second gauge widget. I will use it to display the humidity data. Now the mobile dashboard is ready. The next step is to add a device to the template. To do this, go back to the main screen. Here tap on add new device. Then select manually from template. Now select your template, which is ESP Home. And then tap on create button to create the new device. Now the new device is ready to control your appliances. Next, let's move to the coding section of the project. Here, first you need to install the IR remote library to handle the functionality of a remote control. Next, you need to install the ACE button library. Make sure, you must use the same version of the library. Lastly, install the Blink library to handle communication with the Blink cloud. Next, here you will need to enter the Blink credentials. You can get your Blink credentials from your Blink account. Here, first go to the devices section. Here you can see the device that I have previously created using the Blink app. You simply click on it. Then click on Device Info tab. Here you can see the Blink credentials. You just copy these credentials. Then return to the Arduino IDE. And then paste them here. Next, you need to enter your Wi-Fi router's SSID and password. Now the code is ready, but before uploading it, make sure you have installed the ESP32 board. Also, Ensure that you have selected the correct board and the COM port. Finally, click on the Upload button to upload the code onto your ESP32. Next, as I mentioned earlier, you can only register up to 6 keys on your IR remote with this project. 
However, if you want to register more than 6 keys, then you can easily do it by changing the value of this num hex codes constant. For example, if you want to register 8 keys of your remote, then you just set the value of this constant to 8. This way you can register as many keys as you need. But, if you have changed the value of the hex codes constant, then you need to make one more change in the code. To make this change, you need to scroll down to the remote control function. Here is the remote control function. And inside this function, you can notice that each block of code is linked to a specific key of the remote control. For example, this highlighted block of code is linked with the key 3 of the remote. The same way, this last block of code is linked with key number 6. Now, to add the code for key number 7, you just copy this highlighted block of code, and then, paste it right below the original block. Then change this hex code's array index to 6. And then inside this block, you can write the code to control your any device. Finally, repeat the same procedure to add code for key number 8. This way you can link code to your IR remote keys. Next, let's test the project to see if everything is working properly or not. You can download the code and related files from the description below. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.